everybody, this is Laura, and in this quick tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a smooth zoom in transition effect without having to download any plugins using Final Cut Pro 10. With that being said, let's get started. The first thing you're going to do here is go to the end of your first clip you wish to begin the zoom in transition effect. Go back a couple frames, roughly around 3 to 4 frames, by using the left arrow key on your keyboard. Once that's done, let's go ahead and slice this portion of the clip by pressing Command B on your keyboard. You could also expand your workspace on the timeline by simply holding Command and then the plus sign. Press A on your keyboard to bring back the select tool. Select this beginning portion of the clip and then head over to the video inspector. Under the transform category, go down to the scale all option and then add a keyframe to it by simply clicking this plus sign. Go to the end of this portion of the clip, and then head back to the inspector. Scale the clip all the way up by sliding the knob to the right. And this is the result for now. However, in order to get a less choppy look to the footage, we'll need to add a bit of motion blur to it. So let's bring out the effect browser by clicking this icon right here. Go down to the search bar and then type in zoom. Drag that and then drop it right here. Make sure that you're in the beginning of this portion of the clip and then head back to the video inspector. We're going to leave the zooms look at uniform for now and bring the amount down to roughly around 15 to 16 by sliding the knob to the left. We're going to then increase the amount of zoom frame by frame until we reach the end of this clip simply by pressing the right arrow key on your keyboard and then continue to move the knob to the right as you go. Okay, so now that's done, let's take a look at what we've got. Let me replay that one more time. And that's it for today guys, thank you so so much for watching, I hope you find this video somewhat helpful, and if you did, please leave it a like and also subscribe for more short films and Final Cut Pro tutorials like this one. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, feel free to let me know in the comments section down below, I'll be more than happy to help you out. Good luck with your project and I'll catch you guys later. Bye bye!